apparently magnesium supplementing is the way to go. Our kids deserve happy mums. That's really nice. Obviously, I would not put my baby in a crop top. It's half past seven-ish and we are... We got the silly bug today. Oh, wow, cool. This is brilliant. Would it kill you? Would it kill you to say mama? Just once. That's all well. So this is what our bathroom looks like now. guys at Food Inc. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Hallie's just having her lunch that I just made. You saw me making them. All of her little veggie fritters that I love doing. Whenever I basically am running low on the ones in the freezer, I always just like batch cook a load more. To be honest, there's not that many left. Um, if she was having them for lunch, she'd probably have like two of these, um, like either cut up or just like pulled apart. Um, and if she was having them for dinner, she'd have like maybe one of these with some veg on the side and maybe some like potato wedges or sweet potato or maybe some chicken, like kind of depending on what we were having for dinner. So for example, like, tonight we're going to have this teriyaki salmon. So I'll just cut her off a little bit of salmon, put that to one side, not put any teriyaki sauce or anything. It's got like broccoli with it, so I'd normally like do some of that for her as well. Like I'll basically give her like a bit of what we have plus a couple of fridges, so she's like full up. Um, so yeah, that is handy. Are you getting bored in there already? She's so bored in that high chair, like it's unreal. She's in there for like five minutes. And then you're bored. Are you bored? Anyway, the postman just knocked and George's magnesium supplement has finally arrived. If you guys remember from last week, we I was like talking about George's sleep and his sort of behaviour and his, you know, hyperactive tendencies and just general like lack of attention and mainly his sleep to be honest, because like some of his hyperactive tendencies and impulsive tendencies, like they're just generally his like personality and I wouldn't change that necessarily. I'd like to be able to for him to be able to control it, for him to not have like you know get upset and stuff um and not be able to like you know regulate his emotions and stuff because that's quite hard for him but the sleep is just affecting everyone so much and if you guys didn't see last week's vlog apparently magnesium supplementing is the way to go and this is a brand called mighty kids that so many people have recommended to me i've looked at the reviews spoke to the health visitor they've all raved about this brand um so i ordered it and i'm gonna use it for the first time tonight so fingers crossed we'll see some sort of improvement over the next few weeks of using it you don't want to be in it anymore did you even eat any or did you just feed molly <laughs> do you want a bottle <coughs> yeah Hallie is um feeling a lot better now she was ill um yesterday but she seems like she's definitely on the mend anyway so um today the plan is well it's already like 20 to 1 i've had like a little bit of a sort out this morning um because i literally didn't do anything yesterday other than carry hallie in the baby carrier she just needed cuddles and cowpole and that is what i gave her so um i literally did nothing yesterday but sway her in the baby carrier um and it was kind of lovely kind of annoying but mostly lovely <laughs> I'm obviously glad that she's actually fine today. It was just one of those things, you know, when you just get, they get a cold and they just get a fever, all they want is a cuddle. And yeah, it's just one of those days and that's fine. It did kind of remind me of the newborn days a little bit though, where she constantly needed to be like held and, and you know, if you put her down or left her, she would literally just scream. Um, and that was like newborn days for us. And then also like trying to deal with George and stuff. Um, when he got back from nursery, it was just a little bit tricky because 
he got back from nursery about three o'clock and good, he good. wanted me to play with him and he's been so good bless him and not sometimes <coughs> when Hallie's crying and stuff he'll try and like entertain her make her laugh and the last thing that Hallie wanted yesterday was someone in her face <coughs> and that's what George was doing he was like getting her all up in her face and like he doesn't understand that boundary really um he, I literally don't think he can help himself he's like very you know he's not a shy shy kid like at all um and sometimes also some people especially babies it's a little bit much um so bless him he was he was struggling to, to restrain himself but he was trying to help he was trying his best to help Anyway, yeah, I am really, really excited to try this magnesium supplement. It's from two years old to adult, um, so it's perfect for if you have a toddler that's sort of struggling with their sleep or a kid that's struggling with their sleep. Um, it, there's loads of different like benefits to boosting magnesium, but um, mainly for me, it's the sleep one. I have also heard from people that use this already with their kids that it works wonders for kids that potentially struggle with like different neurodivergent sort of struggles whether that's adhd autism all that kind of stuff obviously it's not going to like cure anything not that those things that need curing but like some of the struggle like some of the symptoms that are quite difficult to handle um as a parent but also from the like child's point of view like you know regulating emotions and obviously having those like really impulsive and potentially sometimes dangerous like behaviors that it's just really difficult to navigate sometimes and i'm speaking from experience there um so anyway so yeah this is supposedly the most absorbable form of magnesium you can get so it's most likely to get the benefits of magnesium into the body and actually absorbed into the body rather than just like it's there but it doesn't get absorbed sort of thing so anyway obviously i haven't used it myself yet um but i've had nothing but great things i spoke to the health visitor and i spoke to the doctors about it um it always says to like consult someone before trying stuff like this but um yeah we have and i'm i feel like i've got really high hopes on it i don't know if i'm putting too much of high hopes on it um yeah yeah fingers crossed though um but yeah to anyone else that's like struggling with any of those kind of symptoms that i've just described namely the sleep one like for me that's the main thing um yeah you never know it could work obviously like i say talk to someone i'm not here to try to tell people to buy it but i just um i just feel like it's a little lifeline that i've just just finally got to and i'm kind of hoping that it's gonna work wonders. i'll obviously keep you posted but yeah we'll go from there anyway yeah i thought i'd share it just in case anyone else is struggling because i feel like it's a topic that goes undiscussed a lot of the time through fear of it like i don't know just like maybe we're not we're not sure if we're doing something that's not right or we're not dealing with something a certain way and it's our fault that behaviors or sleep isn't going particularly the way we want it to go but yeah sometimes it is just like stuff going on inside the body that we we can't really do anything about unless you help that like target that issue and if that's a magnesium deficit then maybe that could help help with some of the symptoms it could easily not be that and you can get tests and i have looked into it a little bit as well you can get tests to look at basically it's just like a blood test to see what you're potentially like your kid may be deficient in whether that's iron or magnesium or whatever there's loads of different things that it could be um so we're going to try this first and then if we don't see any improvement probably going to look to get some sort of blood test um to see if there are any other supplements that we could be taking or giving him because we did we have we do give him like a multivitamin but to be honest i don't because that was just off the shelf um kind of one from like tesco i don't think i don't know much about how what form of what is like the most absorbable form i didn't really think about that but i'm now thinking because i've heard about this being like a really absorbable form maybe the ones off the shelf in tesco aren't particularly absorbable i don't know um, and that's sort of the one that we've been giving him so i don't know we'll see we'll see but um i thought i'd mention it anyway but yeah other than that today hallie and i are going to an osteopath appointment in about 20 minutes because i have mentioned it before on here but i've got really bad <laughs> Ali's just screaming at herself, I don't know why. Um, she's definitely better, bless her, I'm so glad. Um, but yes, we're going to an osteopath appointment because I have got such awful leg pain and I have had for a year now, literally since last April, when Hallie was, well, when, when I was pregnant with Hallie, um, I got just a random, like, really awful pain. And I thought it was like pelvic girdle pain or something like that, but essentially it was from pregnancy and now postpartum, I've just got really bad leg pain whenever I put weight on it whenever i walk like when my leg goes too far back when i 
yeah, when I walk, when I keep pick up, when I pick up the kids, which is every day, constantly, two kids at most points of the day, like, you know, I can't, I can't even begin to tell you, like, if I try and run, if I'm trying to do exercise, which I do like doing, um, it flares up and then it takes like a pretty much a full week for it to recover. I'm actually in an all right place with it this week because I haven't exercised in a week. But I really want to get to a point where I can exercise and I can, you know, work my body and stuff. I've been going to physio for a year now since I was pregnant and um, yeah, nothing has really helped. Like there's no noticeable benefit to physio. Um, and they said potentially we could look at going in for some scans and potentially an operation. But a lot of you guys, when I mentioned it, um, suggested osteo osteopathy or osteopathy <laughs> going to see an osteopath um so that's what i'm gonna do today see what she says what she reckons because i know she handles a lot of pregnant and postpartum cases and i think to be honest it's it's something to do with that i, I don't know it could also be sensitive to my pelvic floor because that in total honesty is in an absolute yeah state so <laughs> I'm just a little bit broken. Now I'm like nine months postpartum. I feel like I'm finally ready to just not feel like this. Like it's not just my leg and my pelvic floor and all that kind of stuff. I feel like there are just loads of things. Obviously your body is constantly changing as a woman. Like depending on what day of the month it is, your body is different. But when you've just had babies and I've had like two babies over the last obviously three and a half years, my body's just been like constantly changing all over the place, internally, externally, like hormones been flying all over the place and i feel like if you're watching this you're probably experiencing something similar um yeah nothing is ever simple ever simple as a woman um so yeah i just i'm ready to start like properly focusing on the things i think i can do something about realistically though if i'm trying to get anything done like through the gp and things like that i feel like because it's just like a woman's issue and like women that have babies and blah 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 like that happens to so many people it's just like a discarded sort of it just is what things that happen and you kind of have to deal with it because they're all like seen as mild inconveniences but you know what like being in pain when i'm playing with my kids on the floor or at the park or like it means i can't run around with them and like not be in pain like i, I want to be able to i'm 25 like i'm 26 this year and i do not want to be like in chronic pain just because i'm playing with my kids or doing a little bit of exercise or going for a walk with the dog like it's just not right. I also want to be able to jump on a trampoline and I also want to be able to like laugh uncontrollably without the fear of wetting myself. Like I don't think that that's an unrealistic goal for me. I just need to work hard and focus on those issues. They're the main two things, my pelvic health, my pelvic floor health and my leg um, because they're the things that cause me an inconvenience daily. I mean, to be honest, there's probably like a whole list of things that I could reel off to you. Like I've got wisdom teeth that need taking out of the back, which I really don't want to get done because I think you have to get knocked out to get it done and just... It just scares me a little bit, but um, yeah, need that doing. My hormonal acne is all over the place. Hormones going up and down here, they're everywhere. I need to talk to Skin and Me about like sorting out my prescription with them, um, which I can do. That's pretty easy to be honest. I'll probably just do that later. And yeah, like I say, there's probably like a whole list of things I could probably reel off to you. But anyway, if you're feeling similarly, if you're postpartum, or even if you're like two years postpartum, three years postpartum, and you are not focusing on your own health for whatever reason because it's like the last thing on your to-do list and you never get around to it like just get around to it because we're, we're too important for that i'm so over being a martyr for the cause like i feel like that is just something i do way too often and mums do it generally like not to stereotype but actually like we all do this we just focus on so many other things and discard ourselves and for what like we deserve more our kids deserve happy mums um so we need to just sort our lives out basically that's my that's my little ted talk for the day right we're gonna go to my appointment and i will catch up with you after hello it is now the next day i've just pulled up at, back at home and hallie is having a nap um in the car seat so i'm nap trapped so i thought i would come and update you guys yesterday i went to my osteopath appointment like i said and oh my gosh i can't believe the instant relief that I've had in my leg like it's actually unbelievable pretty much as soon as I left I felt I noticed a difference like the pain isn't there at all pretty much like I can walk on it I can 
put weight on my leg like something I haven't been able to do in like a year pain like isn't there basically like I genuinely like I can put weight on it I can walk on it pretty like I can walk normally like I've been adjusting how I walk quite a lot to not put weight on that leg and now I don't have to do that I mean it's only a day later she said you'll probably feel some relief and if it comes back like to revisit um and and to kind of go from there but she relieved loads of tension in my back um like it was all just like really stiff and stuff she literally just like cracked my back on the left and the right and in the center my lower back and then um did like loads of like i don't know like deep tissue massage kind of stuff and then also um i think it was ultrasound like ultrasound heat in my leg as well um and then like did lots of like different stretchy movements and like clicking and clacking and whatever it was and I don't even know what magic she worked, but it, it literally worked straight away. Um, so, I mean, like, there's, there's still a little bit of pain there when I walk, but in comparison to what it has been for the last year, um, it's literally nothing. I can't believe it. I didn't go there expecting that, but, wow, I'm just, I'm actually just in shock. So, thank you so much, genuinely so much, to anyone that recommended going to see an osteopath, because my experience so far has been amazing anyway so Hallie and I went out to meet one of my mum friends for lunch um we went for coffee and lunch Hallie had her um lunch in her lunchbox and I made a complete and utter mess she was literally grabbing everything off the table like she's fully in that mode of like if she, there's something in reach she'll grab it and chuck it so it was like it was a little bit chaotic but nowhere near as chaotic as it would have been if we'd have bought the toddlers um so yeah George is at nursery and her little boy's um also at nursery um so Hallie had her lunch and she had it in her new little lunch box this is one that I grabbed some from Amazon I have a very similar one for George um and his one was from Smiggle but it's like 27 pounds or 27.99 or something this one is from Amazon and it's exa exactly the same exactly the same like the quality and everything is exactly the same um and this one was only 13 pounds from um what did I just say? Amazon. Um, and this one comes with like all the different compartments, the exact same compartments as the one that George's does. Um, and it actually has another compartment that I took out because I put something else in there. This is like her leftover food. Um, but yeah, like if you guys are looking for a good little lunch box or little Tupperware thing for like snacks and, and lunches and things like that for your babies and toddlers, highly rate this one. Um, I got it, like I said, from Amazon and I'll link it down below. £13. This is the pink one. They've got green, red, blue i think and um, they've got a purple as well but i think these are really good um yeah like i said the quality is absolutely banging but to be honest it is three o'clock now i've got to go pick george up in about 20 minutes so i'm just gonna stay in the car chill out for a little bit until i need to go and pick him up and then by the time i need to go pick him up hallie would have had a decent nap so that would work out pretty well i think i mentioned um earlier in the vlog that Hallie has now grown out of her doona car seat which is just like the most devastating day ever because I can't now like keep her in her car seat just get her out the car flip out the wheels and roll it into nursery I have to like actually get her out of the car seat carry her in like a normal person um and so yeah it's just like a little bit more normally like George doesn't always want to leave nursery he kind of plays up a little bit because he does really enjoy nursery which is obviously lovely but you know it, managing like the two of them plus all the bags and all of that it's just sometimes the doona car seat has come in very handy for things like that so um yeah it's a little bit more like chaotic when i go and pick him up now but like i say if she's having her nap now then fingers crossed by the time it comes to like going to get george she would have slept a little bit and um yeah we can just start that whole process um but yeah i'm gonna sit here chill i'm gonna catch up on a couple of emails um, that I haven't done so far with my phone. I'm gonna catch up on a couple of emails that I haven't done yet and um, yeah, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. But I always update you on the osteopath because honestly, I just can't believe, I cannot believe how good that was. Hello guys, it is now the next day. Um, I have just sorted Hallie's lunch for her. She's just waking up from her nap and she's got her lunch here, which is little carrot and cumin fritters that I've just cut up and I've put a little bit of cream cheese on the top for her. Um, I've also cut up a little bit of ham and then she's also got some strawberries. So a little bit of a mixture, see how she gets on. Like I say, she's just waking up from her nap now. So I'm gonna go grab her and she can have her lunch. And look what arrived, my first ever Team U parcel. I ordered loads of stuff for the kids uh, for holiday. Um, because I just, basically I just got sucked in like, so many people have ordered things from Team and that the ads are relentless on social media, aren't they? Like every single second I see an ad pop up for Team U. Um, so yeah, I went for it, took one for the team and I'm gonna see what it's like and see if any of it's any good. Yeah, we're gonna see 
see how it gets on. But I'm gonna go get her first and get her sorted and then we'll get to opening this parcel. Okay, honey's having her lunch. Hi, hiya. Hello, Danny. Which means we're gonna sit down and go through the well awaited team new parcel, at least for me. I I don't know how this is gonna go. We're just gonna go two for it together. I feel like so many of you would have already ordered stuff from here, but I'm probably a little bit late to the game. Wrongly or rightly, I'm really not sure at this point, but anyway, let's get opening the parcel. Oh god, there's actually so many things. Like I ordered, I'm pretty sure, like a week's worth of outfits for both George and Hallie. So maybe we can start off with George's bits, because they're very much sets like boys um kind of shirts and shorts set so we'll go we'll go with those first oh my gosh oh my gosh there's so much right okay let's just start off with the boys sets um and i'm already pretty impressed with quality i think there's like eight or nine sets so i'm going to try to go through them really quickly um first up is this little green and blue set for boys i really like the top and i really like the shorts i was a little bit worried about the shorts um coming up a little bit too big for george because he's quite like small around the waist um but these seem oh, they seem good and they're nice and elasticated which is good so fingers crossed those will fit these are in size three to four the quality is like decent nothing nothing amazing but definitely not to be sniffed at like i've had a lot worse from primark so that's a decent one nice little casual casual set for during the day during the summer this one's i guess a little bit like a toweling toweling material really stretchy around the waist kind of a waffle waffle material is how i'd say i guess got pockets which is nice and then the top yeah it's i mean it's very basic but it's nice i like it i like the colors and everything very nice although i'm pretty sure it said it was khaki this i don't think this is khaki the shorts are probably going to be a little bit big for him but that's not team news fault that's just george being small and then one for the evenings a nice little shirt this is definitely like a lightweight muslin material shirts and shorts these are going to crease like absolute hell um they already are creased but I mean they're still pretty cute still pretty cute and i think george is gonna look pretty pretty nice in those of an evening i forgot to say um we're going to morocco so that's where we go in in summer with the kids it's our first time going abroad with the kids um and george will be three turning four and hallie will be just turned one um so yeah I think that's going to be an experience um going on holiday with the kids at that point but we're going with family so there's actually going to be like five adults in total and five kids in total so i feel like we can we can definitely make it work um these shorts i am not a fan of these ones are uh very see-through i would say very see-through and they also kind of give off like football short vibes i like the shirt that's nice and it doesn't matter that that's see-through a little bit because i feel like it kind of is holiday vibes they're going to be so long on george like they're going to be like way past his knees another set was this one i really like the color of this one and i do also really like the quality it's weird the quality is different it is definitely different um but i do prefer this one the shorts i think are the same but they look they look smaller and they've got that little tie which i think makes them look a little bit more expensive maybe but yeah that's quite cute i like this one a lot more than the white one next up this green one i love this when i saw it on there and i actually do really like it in person as well that's really nice the quality is a lot better than the other two very cute same with the shorts these are a much better size i feel like there's not much consistency with the sizing i got these all in size three to four years and they're a little bit different so yeah i like these ones a lot oh he's gonna look so cute playing at the disco in the evenings Oh, I actually, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to going on holiday, but I'm so nervous about like, just the, the logistics part of it. And then we've got this. So it is a little bit referee vibes, but I feel like on holiday, you could definitely get away with it. So shirt like that, again, perfect for the evenings. And then little shorts. I do really like these. Again, the quality is, I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but it's definitely not bad. I do actually really like that one. I feel like if we went on a boat or something, this would be the vibe. This would be the vibe. Okay, this one is what I thought the material would be like on all of them. This is definitely like, it literally feels like a, a baby's muslin and that's that's what I thought it would be. But yeah, the materials are fine and they're lightweight enough to be on holiday and like they're, they're nice, but they're not, they're more like cotton. Whereas this one is definitely like that muslin material. I love that so much and I really love the like 
rust colour um, and it's going to be super lightweight, super lightweight and dry really quickly. So if he's around the pool in the day or, or whatever it might be, that is spot on. I love this one. And then the last set that I got for George, and they're all sets obviously, <laughs> you can tell, uh, was this blue one. This is a nice one, um, it's quite large, it's quite big. Uh, for a size of three to four years, I think. So I don't know if that's gonna fit him. If they don't fit him, or if like, I just think there's there's quite a lot here. Like if we're gonna take too much or or whatever, then maybe I'll sell a few bits on vintage. But generally, the boy stuff's a, a tick for me. For the price that I paid, like part, some of these things were like two pound. Like that is astonishingly cheap. Um, And yeah, I'm actually not disappointed in any of that really and then for Hallie I've got loads of bits down here some bits of the holiday some bits are just for general spring and summer um and just general use because she grows out of things so quickly whereas George is a little bit smaller so a lot of his stuff from last year and even some stuff from the year before still fit him um and if it's not stained they'll be pretty much wearing that still I grabbed some bits for her just like generally so I'll try and pick the bits out that aren't for holiday first but I might get mixed up to be honest. This one, I couldn't, I couldn't not get this because I saw it and it was so cute. And I've definitely seen other like things like this and I loved it. And it was this beautiful like jumper romper thing. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It says little love and it's like a nice, I don't know, like yeah, like an orangey, like an off orangey kind of colour. And I just loved it. I loved it. It's very thick. It's very nice. It'll be really nice and toasty for like a spring kind of day or maybe like a, a cooler evening in the summer or the spring, something like that. Say we were out um, at the park or something, like she could have tights on with this and that would be perfect. Um, oh God, I love it so much. The sizing for babies I found a little bit confusing because Hallie is not in nine to 12 months anymore, but she's not in like one to two she's like very much in that like middle like 12 to 18 months but on team you i couldn't really see 12 to 18 months a lot it was more like 12 to what 12 months to two years like so that's quite big but i feel like the oversized look is going to look okay the quality on this one is really nice like it's thick it's nice and thick and like yeah she's gonna she's definitely gonna get a lot of use out of that's probably my favorite thing so far ash has actually just walked through the door so i'm going to pause here and i'll carry on in a bit once i've sorted everything i'm probably gonna do upstairs because he's working from he's working from home today so i'm gonna vacate the area and we'll reconvene upstairs in a bit now and Ash has took Hallie out so I thought I would finish off the little Timu haul and I think I only started showing you some of Hallie's bits and I have opened them all now so um, I think I started off by showing you this bad boy which I absolutely love and then I also picked up all of this stuff for Hallie as well like I say it's a mixture of just general vests and things like that and then some summer bits as well um, so starting off with like the easier little vest bits these will be like her everyday vests and um, just go in with some leggings and stuff like that i really like this one it was really cute this came in a pack of three with this vest and then this one which i'm not a massive fan of um i just don't know i feel like it's just quite quite in your face but you know what for a pack of three and like i say for the price like it really isn't that bad i also just picked up a couple of tights for her sometimes when it's colder i'll put tights on and then leggings over the top so she doesn't lose her socks and then there's like a double layer sort of thing and again sometimes underneath baby grows and stuff if it's colder or if she's wearing something like a romper tights always come in handy and she's got some at the moment that are like uh, up to 12 months I think like 6 to 12 months um, and these ones are a lot longer and Hallie's got some long legs and then I decided I'd try out some of their baby grows and I'm actually very impressed with the baby grows um, and I got all of these zip baby grows which is the only one that I will do now especially now that she's like wriggling around like a mad one when I'm trying to change her nappy like zip baby grows are the only way to go for Hallie like they genuinely are and they're also footless which again, because Hallie's really like long, 
I think these are the way to go because they will just last her a lot longer than ones with feet would. If I'm totally honest, I never thought I'd be the pink mum, but I am the pink mum. I just love it. I do actually love it. And then the rest of the stuff that I got is all summer bits. I'm gonna start off with this one. So it's this little cute little romper. I really like it. I love all the detail on it and stuff. I think it's super pretty. In the cooler months, I figured that she could have a vest underneath and then she could wear like tights with it. And then that would just be like a really nice little outfit. It's like a romper, so you know, yeah, you, you know how rompers work. The only thing that I got really confused about is the label. It's like on the outside, that's not inside out. And I'm really like confused about it. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna have to take that label off before she wears it. I think that's just a sewing mistake, but um, it's really nice. It's really cute. The only thing I didn't, I wasn't like completely in love with was this one, um, just because it's, I don't know, it's just a, I think it's gonna look cute on Hallie, but it's just one of those things that it kind of looks a little bit like something you'd see like a baby doll wearing. Do you know what I mean? Am I overthinking that? I'm not sure. Um, but it's like a little romper. You can see at the bottom, it's got the poppers, um, but it sort of looks like a dress. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was really sweet um, when I saw it online and it's got the little frills there. Moving on, we have this beautiful little red, dress oh my gosh i loved this i actually adore this the only thing with dresses with a baby that's not walking yet um obviously like you're carrying them a lot or they're on the floor or crawling or whatever it might be like i don't know what hallie's going to be doing by the time it's summer um but but she's not like mobile or anything like that she's certainly nowhere near walking um so we will be carrying her a lot which means like skirts and dresses and stuff tend to just obviously ride up because you're just carrying them so you have their nappies out and all that kind of stuff so i wasn't 100 percent sure about a dress but i mean it's actually adorable i would wear this like if I, it had a, they probably even do have like adult versions i would actually wear this i just thought it was really sweet and it's obviously like nice and lightweight the material is really nice and light for summer so yeah got that one as well and next up i got this little two-piece set which is so adorable these shorts look huge but i actually feel like they'll they'll be because they'll, they'll be like high-waisted sort of thing on us and then this was the little little top which is actually adorable i'm not gonna lie it kind of looks like a crop top which obviously i would not put my baby in a crop top but i feel like i obviously haven't put this on hallie to like test this theory yet but i feel like these are quite big so these will come up over her my, my idea is this will come up over her stomach and then this will like come over the top of that and there won't be like any skin showing like i don't think that's that's just not my vibe i think that's how it will look we'll obviously test that theory when it gets into the warmer months but yeah i thought that was really nice and um, i think the material is really nice again it's that muslin material really soft perfect for when it is really hot next up i've got this yellow jumpsuit which i just adore again i would wear this on holiday this is something that i would totally wear super sweet super cute perfect um, and again i love a jumpsuit because you've got the legs like it, with the dresses when they're not mobile it's a little bit difficult so yeah i, I like a romper and i like all of these things because they're all like either sets or one pieces and it's just very easy like you don't have to mix and match you don't have to figure out what goes with what you just shove it on and it's done. So this one came in a set of two. Little romper again for those really, really hot days. She had something very similar to this um, when she was tiny, tiny, because she was born in July. Um, so it was maybe August time and she was wearing it and it was very similar to this, but obviously she was like a teeny tiny little fragile newborn. Um, and this obviously is in a much bigger size. And then this one is definitely my preferred one of these two, like the colors. I much prefer this. It's a much more like muted sort of, I don't know, like, is that, a, is that even pink? I feel like it's like a very dusty pink. It's just very sweet. I just thought that was just very cute. And um, yeah, I just love little rompers on baby girls. And to be honest, on boys as well. Like George had loads of rompers when he was younger. I've got one more, which is this little one. You can't deny it's, it's a, a little bit cute. So yeah. And then last but not least, I got this little swimming costume thing for her, which is so sweet. Um, so it's got that little zip, it's long sleeve. It's obviously SPF 50 and all that jazz. Um, which I just thought was really, really nice. And then it also came with a swimming hat, which I don't know how, like she's not gonna be, like her head's not gonna be in the water loads and stuff like that. But I actually thought it was a good idea, firstly for the SPF 50 to like block out the sun and stuff if we are on holiday, but also you can put this in the water and then put this on her head if she would like, I don't know if she'll be 
all right with that she might not be um but it could keep her nice and cool if she does allow that uh, to happen but Hallie's never actually been swimming and I really need to take her I take George swimming all the time um but it's very difficult to do that with both of them obviously uh, I don't even think it's allowed like some pools don't even allow two kids like per one adult they only allow like one to one so we'd have to go on like a weekend and stuff and it's always really busy and yeah I don't know we'll figure it out we will definitely go swimming before our holiday if I'm totally honest I am pretty impressed pretty impressed with team you delivery was all right it was like 10 days I think in total um like including you know bank holidays and weekends and stuff so that's not bad like at all really um price wise it was amazing um and quality wise it's really not that bad at all um so all in all i'd give it a solid 8 out of 10 like i really genuinely would so I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised all of these bits i am pretty impressed with like some are definitely better than others but yeah like i would say if you're on the fence and you're like oh is it a scam or not like genuinely i'd i'd probably give it a go um so yeah i will i don't know if i can but i'll try and link some of these bits down below but yeah like i say i'm pretty impressed Pretty impressed, I've got to go put all this stuff away now. Teach Hallie how to eat, and it's um, interesting. Can you show her how to put a strawberry on that fork? I will. Okay. I need to get strawberry. <laughs> oh, I need to right, get right, right, okay, one sec then. You do it, and then give it to Hallie to try and eat. Sunday, oh. hey, son. <laughs> there you go, darling. Oh, look at that. Did she eat it or did she just chuck it? She just chucked it. Chuck it. She chucked it. Right. There you go, chicken. Oh, almost. <laughs> Hallie's trying her hardest, isn't she? Oh, so are you. You're trying to teach her. You're already pretty really strong. That was a really strong cuddle. Mm. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Love you. It's half past seven ish, and we are having breakfast. Although I have had a couple of strawberries, and I'm going to have a cup of coffee, and I'm going to have my breakfast once I get back from the nursery run. George is at nursery today, um, which he's really looking forward to. Georgie, George, are you excited for nursery? It's dirty. It's dirty. Why? Why would you chuck it on the floor? Hey, George. George. Right, come on. That's not going to help her try and eat, is it? If you chuck a tray everywhere and chuck a full on the floor. You are being a silly billy. If you got the silly bug today. Anyway, George is buzzing for nursery. Half term is over. He hasn't seen some of his friends in a couple of weeks. So he is very, very excited. And like I said, I'm just gonna make myself coffee and then let's catch up. I was just about to sit on George's seat and then I realized that it'd be a terrible mistake because there's chocolate spread all over it. Lovely digger sticker here. Food all over the floor, standard. Okay, George is building a den in the living room and he's obviously having some issues because I can just hear him like screaming. I'm sure it'll get resolved with like some help. Yeah. You'd like some help? With the blanket. With the blanket, all right. I'll tell you what, when Hallie's finished her breakfast, we can all go in there and build a den together. There's loads of time before nursery. It's number. I'll show you. It's all the way round, round, round to this one, okay? When this long one is over here. That's when we'll go to nursery. 
Oh wow, cool. This is brilliant. Yeah, one well, was tricky for me. Was it? Yeah. Right, let me put the roof on quickly then. Hand out. This is George's den, under here, is it called den? Right, I'll go get a picture and then we can show your nursery teachers, yeah? Uh, are you Look, look at the pits! It's not fair! What's not fair? I wouldn't. I, want I would like. Please, I have the. That's coffee, baby. You're not going to like that. I want to look at the picture. Of course, I'll show you. Hold on. There you go. Here it is. Here's your photo with Den. You and your Den. Take it. Look at yucky. They're delicious. a little manicure which I absolutely love honestly best manicure ever like took me 10 minutes to do this and I'm like very very impressed quality wise and stuff so yeah we'll see how long they last I'm working with them over on Instagram it's not like paying or anything on um YouTube but I have to say so far I, that was just very quick and very easy and supposedly the nail glue that I used lasts for like 14 days so if that is true then I'll be very 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 happy but anyway I'm just shoving all of this into the air fryer a little bit of seasoning some salt and pepper and then I'll put a bit of feta or something on top and that'll be my lunch isn't that kind of nice <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Can you say mama? Dada. Mm, I swear, she says nothing but dada, and then occasionally she'll say like nan nan nan. I'm like, would it kill you? Would it kill you to say mama? Just once. I thought, well, but I'm trying to offer Hallie some more fruit, but she just doesn't really seem to eat it. Like, she eats it if it's in something, but she won't eat it. Like, she, um, she's got lots of little bits of pear on there this morning, she had strawberries. I don't know what it is, she just doesn't eat it. Like she tries, she put, picks it up, puts it in her mouth. Sometimes, bless you, bless you. But she doesn't seem to eat it. I feel like she needs a little bit more like either water or fiber or something in her diet. Don't ask me how I know, I bet you can guess. Um, but yeah, I just don't really know how to do it because she, the only thing she really eats is anything that's in those fritters. Um, and I feel like, well, obviously I put veg and stuff in, in those fritters. Maybe I should just put loads of extra veg and stuff in them i don't know who knows i don't know i just feel like all she wants to eat is like toast crumpet like wrap pita like she really likes bready stodgy stuff which is not ideal for the digestive system i fear anyway failing that you can have some water there you go and then my lunch is also ready we're having lunch together are we having lunch together oh, yummy life goes up and it goes down I know my mind taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's here oh around and then I remember 
All things must pass. So these are all of Hallie's like current clothes in her current size, all 12 to 18 months. These are all leggings and they're pretty much all the same, but I got them all off vintage, like different colours of pink basically. She's literally got one pair of black trousers that you're wearing right now, or grey, whatever it is. And the rest of pink, bless her, she's a, I've definitely got a favourite colour for it, quite bad, isn't it? All of her vests and stuff, to be honest, I probably do need to get a few more because, like, yeah, this is, like, all of her vests and then as soon as these are in the wash, like, yeah, there was just literally none in there until I just popped those back in. Um, her baby grows and then these are her long sleeve tops and then these are, like, some dungarees and then, like, a little dress thing, to be honest, she doesn't wear dresses and stuff often um but i do really really like that i do feel like i should put her in stuff like this a little bit more but i just feel like it's a waste when we're just around the house um but yeah just i'm not very good at doing the whole folding situation but this works for us um and all of these little dividers are all they're all different colors but they are all from the same like pack from ikea they're called the scub drawer dividers and this is a set of malm ikea drawers that we've had since 2018 um i upcycled them with these little doorknobs um maybe back in 2020 it must have been um for george's nursery back in the day but yeah now they're obviously hallie's and this is that um like jumper romper thing that i got from team U. and i love it i really love it it's a little bit big for her at the moment but i really love it it's such a nice it's really nice quality and it looks very very cute on and then all the bits that I got from Team U are in here. So these three I could probably pop in her drawer now. She would definitely fit into them. Although they're like size, well, I'm not entirely sure. I think they're size like one to two. She's just so long. And you know what? I, I decided to get um, no feet in them because then they'd last longer, hopefully. So those three I'm going to pop in the drawers in a second. And then these ones are like, they're not like all of her other clothes in here are literally like leggings vests and tops they're very like things that you chuck in a drawer whereas these ones are more like oh very sweet like if i folded that up it'd get really wrinkled and and whatever so i am gonna hang these ones up for as long as i can be bothered to <laughs> so yeah all of that stuff's from team U, and then these two ones here are from vintage they just came in like a bundle with a few other bits that i got some of the vests and the leggings i also grabbed these two summer dresses which are very colourful and very cute but yeah we've actually got a couple of like trips away and stuff coming up over the next couple of months so me and my mum are taking the kids to Haven um in a couple of weeks time which i'm really excited about i have to say i really rate haven i think it's really good it's so good for the kids there's honestly like a haven in every corner of the country really it's like a lot around the seaside and stuff as well um and there's ones quite close to us and the one that we went to before is the one that we're going back to me ash and george went in like september october uh 2022 and um we found out about Hallie not long after, so it'll be nice to go there with Hallie and George. And yeah, George loved it last time, so I think he'll just love it even more now, now he's that bit older. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. And then, while we're at Haven, Ash is actually planning on doing the bathroom, which I'm just looking at now. Um, so let me show you what it looks like now. So this is what our bathroom looks like now. I haven't cleaned this in the slightest, so this is it. Uh, natural state, um, stuff everywhere, like a mirror around me hanging up, Hallie's newborn, like, thing that we still haven't put away somewhere is hanging up. Yeah, it's a bit dated, it needs uh, a lot of TLC, and yeah, just a lot of storage and just things like that. We have picked up all of the bits that we need for the bathroom, and Ash is going to completely <laughs> smash down walls and replaster and just... <laughs> It's going to be like a whole rip out and yeah redo situation pretty much like what he did with the kitchen um so it'll be a smaller job obviously because it's like a much smaller space and less appliances and all that kind of stuff hello but um yeah i'm really excited because you know when you just really don't like a space and you just like kind of neglect it a little bit like this is the current situation that we're in like i'm just like oh i'm not not in love with it and it's all like very lime scaly and grassy. Like, it was always like that and no matter how much you clean it no matter how much you do there's always going to be like those areas that are just like they need to be replaced like the sink the taps um like the shower like everything just needs to be replaced um so yeah we've saved up and we're gonna do that i say we ash is gonna do that 
I'm going to take the kids away. Um, I don't know. It definitely won't be done in just the week that he's expecting it to be done. Like, he thought the kitchen was going to take two weeks and that took months and months and months. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. When you're doing, like, a DIY job, it will take a little bit longer, especially where he's working and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted uh, and I'll do, like, a proper vlog, like, before, um, before it does start. I'll do, like, before and afters and stuff. But, yeah very very excited uh to get a new bathroom but that's why we're going away we're going to go for like just four days i think it's like friday to monday and then in may it's my birthday and we're gonna do another like long weekend friday to monday in a place called forest holidays um it's like a center parks but a much cheaper option they've got loads of activities for the kids and it's obviously in the forest and george just loves the outdoors there's like forest school kind of activities which george will love um we're quite outdoorsy like we quite like the outdoors and now that hallie's a little bit older you're a little bit older yeah now she's a little bit older it's gonna be a lot easier to like navigate obviously having her out in the woods and outdoors all day like it's a lot simpler now that she's you know not needing to be fed constantly and needing naps all the time like she has two naps a day and that will i guess at some point be cut, getting cut down to like one nap a day but i don't really know when that happens hopefully not yet i think two naps is still very much needed for her um but yeah that'll be really really good i'm really looking forward to that we're staying like a little cabin lodge and then in august we're planning a trip away with um family so all of george's cousins um and everyone we're gonna go away to morocco which i'm very excited about but also extremely nervous about because um yeah like we've never done the whole abroad thing we've never done abroad with kids like we we're not we're not that bothered about going overseas like I, I love the sun and i love sunbathing but i'm not being funny with kids i can't imagine it's gonna be like that like if, if anyone's been away with young kids please give me any tips you have like literally any tips you have any creators that you know of that have vlogged and stuff i'd love to watch them because i need to i feel like i need to prepare myself like i don't know what is going to be in store for us i feel like we have our challenges a lot of the time when we're on home soil so going away with none of our home comforts um and just being in a different place i feel like with all the added excitement and um you know lack of routine and stuff like that like that kind of worries me a little bit with george specifically and with hallie obviously she's never done it either um and she would have just turned one when we go um but yeah, with George, I'm a little bit worried about the journey. I'm also a little bit worried about when we're there, like how he's going to be, how he's going to react to the change, how sleep's going to go when we're in a hotel room together. We have like kind of gone for one of the ones where we can shut, like there's two, sort of two rooms. So there's a room for George and then Hallie can be in with us or, or they can go in together, depends on depends on what happens on the day i guess and we've also got a balcony because we thought we don't want to be trapped in the room like when the kids are asleep we don't want to just be sat in the room in silence we wanted to be able to have like a glass of wine or something on the terrace um but yeah i'm nervous about it extremely nervous um and to be honest i never thought that we'd be going away until they were a lot older because like i say we're not we're not that bothered about it we like doing our staycations we like going to those like forest holidays or going down to cornwall or caravans like we're not we're definitely not like that bothered obviously for our honeymoon we went away to Rhodes, um but that was like kid free so that's a completely different kettle fish like i love traveling i just can't imagine it's going to be much fun with kids um or at least some of it and, and i kind of also think like hello darling hello i think she's doing that and yeah i kind of also think like they're not going to know what's going on so are we just are we just putting ourselves through a lot of stress unnecessarily no, no, no. who knows but anyway those are the plans uh for the next few months for the summer months in terms of going away and stuff i am really excited and i'm really grateful like we've never been in a position where we've been able to go away so often um like we we normally try to go away like once a year but that hasn't always been the case like there've been many years where we just haven't done any of that kind of thing to be honest that's like what my goal is to like go and make memories with the kids and have fun and and be outside and and I don't care whether that's in the UK or not in the UK I also quite like the idea of doing like camping trips and things like that um those are all things that I know that we'll definitely do as the kids get a little bit older and we have a little bit more I don't know freedom to do that obviously at the moment we are restricted a little bit by naps and you know that we're in a very young age bracket like at the moment like the kids are babies and toddlers it's not um ideal for traveling and stuff like that i know people do it um, and i know people say you know 
your life doesn't have to change after kids but to be honest mine has and i'm fine with that um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna try it we're gonna try it this summer um and i'm a little bit nervous but also very excited i hope it goes well anyway i'm gonna put hallie down for a nap and then i think i'm gonna love you and leave you and see you very shortly in the next vlog i'd love to know what you guys want to see because i feel a little bit stuck and i feel a bit in a rut with content at the moment like with vlogs and things i feel like it's very all very samey and like i just do my life and like pick up the camera really nearly and like if there's anything that you guys want me to talk about any like subjects that you guys want to like have a chat about or maybe like maybe I do a little Q&A about something I don't know I feel like I need a little bit of inspiration um but yeah anyway for now guys I'm gonna love you and leave you and we will see you in the next one bye Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby